Samuel Clemens, better known as Mark Twain, rose from the ranks of newspaper columnist to beloved novelist over the course of a few brief decades. Known for his great American classic, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, and its sequel, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, Twain spent less than two years in Buffalo, but he left a lasting imprint and a wealth of personal artifacts that remain within the walls of the library to this day. After acquiring a one-third share in the Buffalo Morning Express, Twain and his soon-to-be wife, Olivia Langdon, moved to Buffalo in August of 1869 to take a post as an editor of the newspaper. After the couple's marriage early the following year, they were given a gorgeous mansion at 472 Delaware Avenue. They only stayed for one year before moving on to Elmira, New York, where he stayed at Quarry Farm and wrote much of his work, before finally settling in Hartford, Connecticut in 1872. Tragically, the house burned in the 1960s, leaving only the carriage house as a singular relic of Twain's residence here in Buffalo. Though he left town in a hurry, the friendships he made in Buffalo never wavered. In November 1885, after receiving a request from library curator James Fraser Gluck, Twain forwarded a package to the Young Men's Association, a predecessor of the Buffalo and Erie County Public Library, containing 487 sheets of the recently published Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. The other half was thought to have been tragically destroyed by the printing company. The following year, the author found and forwarded another 209 pages, but it wasn't until 1887 that he unearthed the rest of the missing leaves of his manuscript. Upon this discovery, he forwarded them to Joseph N. Larned, who was the superintendent of the then Buffalo Library, and who presumably handed them over to Gluck to be bound. Though the leaves were removed in preparation for their final reunion, Gluck apparently saw no urgency in the matter before he unexpectedly died in 1897, and the pages were turned over to his wife, who eventually moved to Hollywood in 1920, unknowingly with a manuscript in tow. It wasn't until July 28, 1992, that the leaves of the Twain's manuscript were finally reunited after Gluck's granddaughters discovered the missing pieces and went to sell them at auction in New York City. Luckily, after the Buffalo and Erie County Public Library proved its ownership for Twain's donation letter, the Gluck family, the Mark Twain Foundation, and the library came to an agreement to finally reunite the whole manuscript in downtown Buffalo, 105 years since they had originally been together. Along with Twain's manuscript and the wooden chest in which the missing half was found, the Buffalo and Erie County Library's Mark Twain and Rare Book Rooms house hundreds of different editions of Twain's work as well as other personal artifacts, including handwritten letters and the restored mantelpiece from Clemens' Buffalo home.